What up, this is Patrick Hayes. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I wanna share with you 11 different things that you can do while you are in quarantine or on lockdown or whatever you are choosing to call it. And you know, one of the reasons why I felt like I wanted to make this video is because I feel like you know a lot of us might be in this situation where we're like, oh, well, I'm stuck at the house and I don't know what to do. And um, so I figured, you know, maybe I'd just give some like brainstorm, give some ideas out. They might help you be able to zero in on something productive and useful that you can do with your time. Because one of the things I don't want to see people doing is binge scrolling on the internet and binge watching like on Netflix and wasting all of this time because this is a time where not only is it a great opportunity for us to do a lot of things that maybe we wanted to do but haven't done so far, to give more um, effort and attention to things that maybe um, are, are actually important but get pushed to the side, and, um, and really give that kind of care and attention to ourselves that we are not able to in the fast-paced world that we live in. But it's also, I feel, a really, really important time for us to be putting good vibes into the collective, doing things that you know, raise the collective energy field. And so, you know, just binge watching, you know, shows. I was watching the other day that Outbreak was the number 10 show um, streaming right now. So Outbreak was trending. And I felt like, well, yeah, I guess that's quite in theme with what's going on right now. But I'm still thinking to myself, you know, is that really the best use of time? You know, we have this time now where, you know, everything's kind of went silent in the sense of like this, you know, the outside world and we're like in our houses trying to figure out what's going on and you know, how can we maximize this opportunity? So that's what I'm gonna share in this video, 11 different ideas. So number one, catch up with friends. This is a great opportunity, great time for us to reach out to those people that you know, we want to talk to but maybe don't get the time to talk to or those family members that you know they would really love to hear from us but they don't because we're so busy. Well, now is the perfect time to stay in touch with those people. Get in touch with those people and share some um, stories, share some time, share some conversation with them. And you know, not only is this um, you know great because we're we're engaging with with people and, and building more connection, but it's also I feel really important at this time because I feel like one of the things that we're at risk of is uh, is further isolation right now, which isn't going to be good for anybody or anybody's um, you know mental stability. So I feel like reaching out to those people that you know we love to talk to, we love to have conversations with, but haven't had the time to reach out to them is one of those things that is really um, a great opportunity for us right now. Okay, number two, and this one's something that probably a lot of people have already thought of, an exercise routine. Why not start an exercise routine? How many people out there, are, are you, maybe you're one of them, that knows you should have been exercising, been wanting to exercise for a long period of time, but haven't been able to make the time for yourself? Well, here, let me tell you this. Just because you're at home and you can't go to the gym does not mean you cannot exercise. In fact, there's some really, really amazing hardcore exercises that you can do just using your own body weight. Crazy different kinds of push-ups. You can do like on the wall, upside down like push-ups you know, for your shoulders. You can do, you know, standing squats. You can do all sorts of different calisthenic kind of things like that. And you can actually get quite fit in a very small room. You don't need very much space at all. And, um, you know, you could probably even order something like one of those uh, doorway pull-up bars uh, on Amazon. And I have one of those and I do pull-ups every day on that and uh, push-ups and sit-ups and squats. And it's, you know, it's a great way to take advantage of the, you know, unfortunate situation that we find ourselves in right now. Number three, finally start meditating. No excuses now, you're all alone, everyone's freaking out. There's nothing better to do than to center yourself right now. So start that meditation practice. And I, uh, I have some meditation um, things on my, on my YouTube that you can look up, but what I'm gonna be doing really soon if I haven't already released it, and if I have, I'll put the link right here. I'm gonna be putting out a gratitude meditation that is a guided meditation that can really line you up into that grateful vibration space that's really, really powerful right now, especially for um, promoting higher vibrational frequencies in the vibrational realm. So like lifting up the people around you by getting yourself into a really dialed in space. So go ahead and check out that, um, that meditation if it's released, and if not, keep your eyes open for it. Number four, now is the time where you can actually start your business. 
If you work some job that you don't really like that much, you've been dreaming of starting some sort of business, maybe you wanna start a YouTube channel, maybe you want to start some sort of like online drop shipping business or something, now is the time to do it. Now you have all the time in the world, you're at home, you don't know what to do, go ahead and start taking action on that. Maybe you could look at some courses online. I have a good friend, Miles Beckler. Miles Beckler is a, is a good friend of mine, lives part-time here in Sedona. He's really trained me a lot as far as how to um, build my social media presence and get my business rolling. And you could check out his videos. He's got a lot of really great information for how to start a business if you are interested in starting an online business. So that's a great thing that you can do with this extra time that you have. Number five. This is to think of some nice things that you can do for your friends and your family. You know, I don't think that there's ever been a time where people would be uh, more appreciative and more grateful if something really, really nice and thoughtful was done for them. You know, this is a time where everybody seems to be freaking out and thinking about themselves and trying to get every, all their ducks in a row so that they're safe and they're not getting infected. But this is actually a really great time that if you were to do something for someone else that was really thoughtful, you know, maybe like write them a really thoughtful note or uh, maybe like write them a poem or maybe send them something in the mail that you know that, they're, that they would really appreciate, you know, anything like that. To do something really nice for, you know, a friend or a family member or, um, you know, a loved one of some sort. Okay, number six. This one is something that um, I think that is, it would be extremely valuable and is extremely valuable for humanity at large right now. And this is synthesizing the information that is coming in on all of the media streams to try to make sense of actually what's happening right now in the world. Now, when I say this, this is not meant for everybody. And one kind of good rule of thumb for being able to decide whether you are, say, the, the one for this kind of job is kind of like your chill levels. If you're somebody that can comb through a lot of uh, you know scary uh, narratives online, like because there are many th that are scary right now that are online, and still keep your cool, keep level-headed about it. Um, find the elements that are worth integrating into a greater foundation of uh, of, uh, of an idea of what's happening, and then uh, and let go of the other stuff that's maybe not useful. If you have a really good mind for that, now is the time to execute that because I think what we really need right now is the people that have good sense-making ability. So they're good critical thinkers, they're intuitive in their ability to feel vibes of what's going on, and they can remain cool. People that have that character profile are incredible for synthesizing information right now and uploading a coherent story so we can balance out like the signal to noise ratio. Because right now, people are going crazy and just you know posting everything that they see that they have an emotional reaction from. But that causes more chaos. So what we need more of is people that are actually really on their game that are synthesizing information and then uploading a signal that is pure so that we can um, hopefully get more people in, uh, in the society to kind of collapse in on more grounded narratives that are useful for everybody as opposed to just kind of flailing all over the place and running around with crazy theories. But if you're not one of those people, then I would say really just focus on your vibe and focus on whatever you can do to um, bring more high vibes into the collective because we're definitely at a shortage of high vibes right now. We're at a shortage of relaxation and anything that you can upload to the collective, anything that you can put out that helps people relax and come into their center is extremely valuable. So do what you can to be in support there. Okay, number seven. This one kind of piggybacks off of what I was, part of what I was just saying in this last one. Create some awesome content and put it out to the world. Right now, one of the things that I'm working on, I mean, I'm making a lot of videos for you guys, but another one of the things that I'm working on right now is I'm working on a super awesome music project with my friend Gabe Solomon. And, um, you know, we realized that we might be confined to houses for a good period of time. And both of us were like, okay, well, this is like, we're really just going to get down on this album. We're going to finish this project so that we have some beautiful music that we can upload to the collective that can help people feel good and vibe through this thing in a, you know, a sovereign and empowered way. And so we're really taking this as an opportunity to really go at that and execute it in, uh, at a faster pace than we would have probably if we had some of the other obligations that we thought we were going to have, having to live in a world that was not shut down or getting to live in a world that was not shut down. I'm not sure exactly how you want to look at it, but I'm being optimistic as you can even tell with the language that I'm using. So doing something beautiful for the collective and sharing that I think is a really, really good thing. Okay, number eight. 
Read some of those books that are on your shelves. I know that many of you out there have books on your shelf that you bought at some point or received at some point and were excited about reading but never actually got around to reading. Well, now is your opportunity and readers are leaders. The more that you can read, the more information that you can take in that's of high quality and the more that you can process it and integrate that into your understanding, the more perspectives then you can take on the world and the wider of a palette of colors that you have to paint with. And so, you know, reading and expanding your consciousness, we all know the, the benefits of reading. And now is your opportunity to read more. Also, this is a great opportunity too for you to learn how to um, empower your focus muscles. If you spend too much time scrolling on the internet, that really disempowers your ability to have a laser focus and to focus on something for a long period of time, which is what's necessary to be successful in the world. So now is actually a great opportunity to do something like reading, because reading actually forces you to engage in the content that you are consuming. It's not just like a television where it spits it all at you. Right with, with reading, you have to engage with it. You have to use your mind. You have to create the pictures in your head. And that's actually a great exercise for your consciousness in general. Okay, number nine. This is join some sort of connection circle. Join some sort of uh, online community or group that is, you know, maybe it's a support group that's taking us through this kind of situation. I've actually been thinking about launching one of these. If you'd actually be interested in doing that, go ahead and put a comment down below or um, uh, personal message me on Facebook or Instagram and let me know that you're interested in that. It's something I'm thinking about doing, creating like a bit of a support group so where we can meet every week, talk about stuff, um, kind of keep tabs on all the different narratives that are going on and share different empowering and centering content that can help people to come into their center and be of most use and be in most balance that they can during this whole process. So, but if it's not me, if there's someone else that you really feel connected to, join some sort of community or group so we can continue to stay connected with people throughout this process even if we find ourselves locked inside a house for a long period of time. Okay, number 10, and this one I actually probably should have said closer to the beginning. Clean your house. Because if you're gonna be staying in your house for a long period of time, you don't want it to smell like a dumpster, right? You want it to be nice. You want to be enjoying the space that you're in. And I don't know about everybody, but I know a lot of people feel the way I do, and that when my space is clean, when it smells good in my house, when everything's clear, when the counters are clean, I think more clearly, I feel more balanced, and I feel more uh, at home, I feel more at rest. And so one of the things that I think, you know, like I said, I probably should have said this first, one of the things that you can do is clean your entire space up. Like Jordan Peterson said, clean your room. You can clean your space up, and that will actually um, make it feel a lot better to be stuck in a house, because the only thing worse than being stuck in your house is being stuck in like a dumpster of a house, like a pigsty that stinks. That's the only thing I can imagine being worse than being confined to a house, confined to a terrible, disgusting house. So clean your house and I think that that will make your environment much more inhabitable. Okay, and number 11, do an online course. Learn something new, you learn a new language. My mom was telling me she really wants to brush up on her French. And uh, it's funny because I, I just started watching last night, I started watching a nature show that was all in French. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Maybe I'll send this to my mom because then I would help her practice French. But you know, whether it's a language you wanna learn, whether it's uh, you know, coding, maybe you wanna learn coding, whether it's critical thinking, there's a great course on uh, Quora, is maybe not the Quora. Um, I forget the, the name of the, uh, the, online, um, the online course site, but there was a great critical thinking course that I took a while ago that was just excellent. The, guy, the way the guy put it together was so good and he really went into the whole philosophy of you know, academics versus conspiracy theorists and their ideas regarding critical thinking and, um, and like the pros and cons of both sides. He really had a very balanced interpretation of the whole thing and it was really, really good. So maybe I'll, um, you know, maybe I'll put a link to it below if you're interested in a critical thinking course. But, you know, there's tons of courses. Now we're in the day, we're in the days of online courses. You can learn anything on the internet right now. You can learn anything on YouTube. I make jokes with my friends from time to time. It's like, I bet you there's even like YouTube brain surgery. You like go on to YouTube and just watch videos on how to give brain surgery and like give brain surgery to somebody. So not that I would recommend that, but it's a, you know, it's a funny thought that it's like just about anything that you could want to do, 
you could watch videos on YouTube on how to do it. And so this, this is a great opportunity for us to learn something new and take advantage of the internet um, in these times to do that. So those are the 11 things I have for you. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, again, I really encourage you to do whatever you can to be productive, to, uh, to bring light and beauty to the world at these times because that is what the world needs right now. Uh, my condolences to anybody that's sick or anybody that has loved ones that are sick. And just remember that optimism is actually uh, gives us the opportunity to see how we can flip things into an upside. And you never really know what something like this means, right? Sometimes the things that seem like they're the worst things ever turn out to be the greatest blessings in disguise that we've ever experienced. So uh, it's important for us to stay open to the positive things that could come from this. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes, and I will talk to you next time. One love.